Good morning guys, this is Russ here with the Rusty Candyman. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying to install this Ampeak inverter in this 2016 Keystone Camper. We're getting ready to take a long road trip and my wife wants to run the refrigerator as we're going down the road. It's possible to do off of propane, however it doesn't sound like it's very safe because you have a pilot light. You have a flame as you're driving down the road and there's stories of people's camper trailers starting on fire. So what I'm gonna try to do is hook up an inverter that runs off of the battery that can power the circuit that the refrigerator's on while we're traveling. It seems like a much safer option. What we got here is this is the back of the refrigerator and this is the propane system right here. And then this is the AC circuit right here that the fridge plugs into. So we're going to have to figure out a way to power this circuit off the inverter so that we can run their fridge as we're going down the road. I got this inverter off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I initially installed this in the rear of the camper where the distribution box is, but there was way too much voltage drop from the battery at the front to the rear. So today I'm going to be installing this in the front in the storage compartment. Let's see how that goes. thinking about installing it in this area here or on these rails up here so this is my battery and I got to figure out how I'm gonna run the lines in through my probably one of these holes here into the underneath belly of the camper trailer and then up through my floor so I wanted to drop some of this down somehow gain access to it so I can see where I can run my lines it looks to me like I might be better off just running it in through right here because this is bolted from the inside here and I can't get these screws out so I might just have to go in through there poke through right there. So we're gonna go from this direction, finish it up. All right, I had some uh, some grommets, I guess is what you would call them, in uh, my toolbox. And one of this one here fits in the bottom of the hole. I'll just make a hole here on this side so that my wires won't be against this aluminum and rub. So that'll kind of protect that. And then up here, I have this. And so I'm gonna push this down in this hole to protect against the metal here. And then I'll just put a hole in here and the cables will run up through there. I'll put some caulk around here so this will get sealed in there real nice.
As you can see, I got the inverter mounted here. I drilled holes in the back of it to make sure there's plenty of airflow as much as possible so that it keeps the heat out of it. You gotta keep these things cool. It has a fan system in it. The fans are on this end. It has room to move air. But I just wanted as much heat dissipation as I could get. I've decided that I'm just going to have an extension cord run from here all the way back to a plug in the back. It's gonna be a dedicated plug that I'm gonna be able to plug into and it will run off of this and power my distribution box. I've just decided since I have this access door right here, which is kind of like a clothes hamper, I can easily run an extension cord through there. And instead of trying to run a wire up under here, all the way to the back, this is a simple fix. It'll be easy for me just to wind that cord up when we are stopped for the night and it will save me from having to drill holes and dig into this any farther. So I'm gonna just verify this inverter works and then make up my cords and then we should be good to go. Okay, I turn the battery on. Let's see if we have any power. Oh yeah, that's what we wanna see. So this is the plug that powers my refrigerator when I'm hooked up to AC. So I have my inverter installed. I got my DC current hooked up to it. Now what I think I'm gonna do, I'd rather not try to run the wires all the way to the back distribution box at the back of the camper trailer. So what I think I'm gonna do is run a small extension cord from the AC side of my inverter straight across here and then up into this hamper door. And then I have a plug just on the inside of the camper. So here's my hamper door and literally that's like a very short distance through the hamper door and then right there's a plug and I can plug into there and then power my AC strip all the way back there on my distribution box so a short extension cord will probably take care of my problems and then I'll have to use a male and a male end on that plug so it'll be a little bit dangerous whenever it's plugged in but anytime we stop we're immediately going to shut the inverter off and then we'll automatically take that extension cord off it's just something to be aware of it won't be won't be as permanent or probably as safe as uh, wiring it into the actual camper but to me the less modification I have to do the better so the first thing I have to do is figure out which circuit this plug is on so I know which circuit has to be on when I'm running the inverter. Okay, what I figured out is the um, plug back there is on the same circuit as the fridge. I'm gonna double check my plug on, out there on the fridge. And then we also have a fridge in the back that we'd like to also use. So I'm gonna see if that one's live as well. Oh, that's on. Perfect. All right, I just realized that cord goes through the wall there and over to here. And when I turn this on, I heard the fridge going a little bit ago. And this power strip's on, so we're good to go. Okay, so that plug behind the fridge is live. That plug there's live.
Okay, I got my cord made up. Now I'm just gonna run it through and hook it in. So I know my AC power is off, so I should be fine plugging this into this end of the inverter. So there's that. I'm gonna put some things up there to hold that up out of the way. And before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and shut my main off just to be extra safe. I have all my breakers shut off on my distribution box, including my main, so now I'm ready to turn the inverter on and see if we have power. Power there. I forgot to film it, but I found out that this power strip was actually not on the same circuit as my bedroom plug, so I ended up having to use my distribution box breakers. Alright guys, I got that cord wired up, so now whenever I want to run both of the fridges going down the road, I can just plug the inverter in on both ends and then come back here. This will, main will be off and the only two that I will have on is the two that is powering the fridge, which is the GFI circuit right here and then the fridge circuit, which is the fifth one down. With those two on, those two items will be running and our fridges should stay cold while we're going down the road without running like propane or something like that. So I hope you got something out of this video guys. By no means am I an expert in the electrical field, but this is what I figured out will work for us and um, maybe you'll have some better ideas to share. I'd be interested in that. But until next time guys, good luck with all your projects.